<laughs> More power. You should go back over here. Except I don't have a name. Yeah. <laughs> now we can go to Navrox. Whoosh. Navrox system. The worlds here have varied histories. Seems that uh, Flick and Tiplix are both shielded and the other three worlds are not. Correct. You have a choice as to how to proceed. Scanners show various artifacts scattered across the world, so the order you visit the worlds will determine what technologies we acquire first. Tiplix is where the inhibitor is, but it appears to require multiple shield keys. That world must have been important, more important than others. Choose one of the three worlds and engage ground operations. I'll explain what I know of each world in turn. Interesting. Oh my, this world is Ormos. It's occupied by the very last human civilization. Civilization took extreme and extraordinary measures to survive the Creeper. I don't understand why so many civilizations would rise and fall. How the Creeper was always able to return. Patience. Extreme patience. A civilization has existed for hundreds of thousands. Even millions of years with no hint of Creeper, it forgets. So, the Loki would just wait? After eons had passed, they would send the Creeper again? It was one component to their strategy, Scars. This world was altered during the final conflict. A military outpost specifically designed to withstand the Creeper. Scanner show no emitters on this world. It must have worked somehow. So they thought there are no emitters, but there 
is still Creeper. It's trapped inside a subspace rift and will explode onto the train once activity is detected. The final humans here manage to alter some physical to alter some physical constants in uh, this region of space. As such, the Creeper flows more slowly than normal. No emitters. Our only goal is to collect a tech and artifacts and shield key. We'll get to that. Let's guards don't underestimate the Creeper. The tech artifacts here are for a siphon and a terp. The siphon will let you extract resources from resource packs. I guess that. And after all these res eons, there are still some energy packs on this world. Let's build siphons as soon as possible to access their energy. The terp will allow you to terraform the land. I recommend you repair the damage to the walls. Set. Keep the creeper at bay while you build up offensive strength. To so uh, build a terp terraform, a section of your commander base will appear. Just click the button and paint the terrain in a few places to raise or lower it. Nearby terps will go to work. Alright, let's get this done.
energy's going that way right now. Need every scrap of available real estate right now.
celebrate with me.